In today's video, I'm doing the rattlesnake chili cheese dog, the hot dog that bites back. The first step in this is making our homemade hot dog chili. Now this is my signature chili. I actually uh, featured this chili quite some few years back. Never got a lot of views. So here it is again for any of you wanting to make it. I'm going to just go out there and say it's probably going to be the best hot dog chili you have ever put in your mouth. That is no lie. So what we got in here is two cups of water. And into that... We're going to pour beer, one 12 ounce beer. You can use a Mexican beer. You can use a domestic. That's all I'm using is a domestic beer. All right, so I've got two pounds of ground beef going in. This is more of a, I guess it's around 80, 20. All right, now I'm going to light my stove and bring this up ever so slowly, but while it's still cold, I'm going to take my hands in here and we want this to be like a real fine looking grind on this and it's actually going to brown in the water and the beer. Going to continue to keep doing this until I get it like I want it. Then I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes with the next step. There's about a tablespoon of olive oil. You can use any kind of oil. Now into that I'm going to take and I'm, I'm adding one whole onion. This is kind of a medium onion. You can use a large. All right, all I want to do now is just saute these for a few minutes, get them nice and tender and translucent. All right, so I just added in six cloves of garlic. Our onions are looking good. Our meat is not completely brown yet, but it's getting real close. So that is six cloves of garlic. And so you know, there will be a complete recipe in the description box with ingredients and amounts. I'm gonna go ahead and add all the dry ingredients starting with one tablespoon of cumin. Putting it in this pan like this will help release its flavors, make them a little bit more pronounced. One tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of kosher salt. One tablespoon of cocoa, and yes, I did say cocoa. One tablespoon of crushed red pepper flake. Let's give all that a good mix. We're just going to heat this up for maybe another minute. Just like I said, to let all the aromatics come out of these seasonings. Get them good and, and potent. Now, yeah, buddy, I can smell that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut my heat off. and We're just going to hang out here for a minute until our meat's ready. So it's looking like the meat's pretty much browned. Got all our fluids in there. So into there goes the onions, garlic, and all the, the seasonings that I just showed you. Give all this a good mix. All right, now into that, I've got a 14 and a half ounce can of crushed tomatoes, or I'm sorry, these are chopped tomatoes. And I've also got eight ounces of tomato sauce going in. All right, so what I'm doing from here is I'm gonna let this simmer for roughly an hour. It's going to be reducing and uh, it's going to be intensifying in flavor as it does that. Almost forgot one bay leaf going in. That is a fresh bay leaf. I was out of dried, but you can use either. I have been at a real slow simmer for right at an hour. And what I've done is periodically, you can see the little bit of oil on top. Well, I have been skimming the majority of that off. Uh, came mainly from the ground beef plus a little bit of the olive oil, but uh, it's not hurting anything. I just didn't want that much in it. I like a little bit in there, you know, fats flavor, right? All right, so what we're doing at this point is I've got two pickled jalapenos going in. 
I've got just dashes of paprika going in. That's probably a half a teaspoon. I've got dashes of oregano going in. Probably an eighth to a quarter teaspoon. And a little bit of ground sage. Just a few dashes of that. Give all this a good stir. I'm going to let this simmer about another 30 minutes. That should be just about right. And at that point, I will thicken it up to become a hot dog chili. So you might be wondering, rattlesnake chili cheese dog, does this got rattlesnake in it? No, it does not. If I had some rattlesnake, I might would do that, though. But instead, I've got a cheese here. This is uh, Deer Creek. This is a rattlesnake cheese. It's got habanero, and it's got golden tequila in it very interesting cheese it's supposed to pack a punch so that along with these hot beefs these are texas sausages right here got them from uh south side market i ordered these online i ordered this online none of this has been you know a sponsored video i bought and paid for all of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take right now while this chili is uh still cooking is i'm going to cut one of these open Now I'm not doing this to all these. Most of these I'm just gonna put in a uh, cookie sheet and put them in the oven. And I'm just gonna bring the oven up to 325 degrees and we're just gonna, these are fully cooked, they're smoked. So all you gotta do is get them fully back up to temperature, just make them good and hot. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to take one of these, the one I'm gonna be eating. Actually I might do two and I'm going to split it. I'm gonna put jalapeno in that. So we're just gonna take and split this that should be good. And all I want to do is take a piece of jalapeno and stuff in here. I'm doing two because I will eat two, guaranteed. So I'm putting all eight of these, like I said, on the cookie sheet into the oven, gonna get them fully back up to temperature. All right, so I'm going to remove some of this juice. I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch and we're just gonna make a slurry with some of the juice that's already in the pot instead of adding more water which is kind of counterproductive we'll use the water that's already in here all right I'm gonna take a whisk and mix all this in pour it back into the chili Now this chili is simmering, which is going to make this cornstarch react and it's going to really thicken this chili up like you're accustomed to seeing with a hot dog chili. And it's already working. Much thicker. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and turn the fire off. Give this a good stir. I'm going to put a lid on this and we're just going to let it hang out for a little while. All right, I'm using New England rolls today, and we're going to go into toast them real quick. Just got some butter laid down in this cast iron skillet. Give them a nice toast on each side. We are almost ready. All right, so I've got a nice buttery toast on these New England rolls. We're going to go ahead and build these, or these two. Here is our sausage. Now you can certainly use regular hot dog buns, but uh, in light of everything going on with the stores, I had to order these because I couldn't find any. All right, we're gonna put on some of this chili. Now we're going on some of this rattlesnake cheese. Man, this stuff is good. We tasted it earlier. I will definitely be ordering more of this. Now I'm going to pop this back into the oven. I got it on broil. And we're going to give this cheese a quick melt. I'm going to transfer these to a cookie sheet in under the broiler. Be right back. All right, last thing to do is take a little bit of finely minced jalapeno. 
that's just to make this pop a little bit in color plus it's going to add just a touch more heat if though we didn't have enough already only one thing left to do we got to taste this and see how we did oh boy that looks good all right here we go this is going to be messy i can see that already Hmm. You want that one? Yeah. Come get it. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a really good sausage. The chili, man, that's always a winner. Like I said, that is my signature chili. Been making it for years. I actually used to sell hot dogs, and uh, that was a chili that we used. Love this cheese. It's good. Unmelted, and it's even great melted on this. It's definitely got some uh, heat and some fire coming through. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you can get your hands on some of this cheese, I just showed you how to make the chili. You can even use hot dog wieners on this if you wanted to. But I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, smoke your ribs.